Good morning, Stephanie Caverman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day. But before we get to today's whisper, you know it. We got to talk about yesterday's whispers. So yesterday, I was still bullish on you guys. UGAZ above that 360 level, and you can see she shot all the way up. To about four dollars foxy roxy rock that great trading foxy uh, also yesterday had my eye on intel after spotting dark pool selling going on pre-market remember i showed you that print and i told you there are two entries that second entry on the short side watch the 34 level and you can see as soon as it broke down went uh, all the way down to 33 75 and uh, i rocked that roxy rocked that that was a great trade i also had my eye on the spy right remember we saw a lot of dark pool action at 211.03 all right so if we rally up there start to pull back that is the best entry spot uh we were rocking it on the short side yesterday in the java pit so many of us uh, we're rocking it on the short side i like to trade the vxx that's definitely one of my favorite ways uh, to play it all right but the trader of the day, look, the Java Pit is a community of traders. We all work together. We all share our knowledge. Uh, sharing is definitely caring. And yesterday, uh, Carl, a.k.a. Well, we call him Santa. Um, Carl shared with us his trading plan after the close. He did a really nice PowerPoint presentation. Really appreciate it. Great stuff, Carl. So you are the trader of the day. Thank you so much for that. All right, what are we watching today? Well, those job numbers were crazy, weren't they, guys? What a crazy reaction we had. I guess that good news is bad news. Um, so we're going to be watching levels on the SPY. I want to go over the dark pool prints uh, from the past. So 209.14 is a big area. And if we break that area, 207.91 is another really big area uh, if the SPY does go down there. Yesterday, if you follow me on Twitter and StockTwits, I pointed out dark pool selling on the QQQs at 115.07, right? And that's, you can see the Qs are down now. Somebody obviously uh, was selling big time. All right, so what are we gonna watch today? Well, yesterday we spotted some huge prints on GDX at $14.08. And you can see we are way below that. The dollar spiked all the way up to like 99. Wow. Uh, so definitely oil and gold feeling some weakness. So I'm going to be bearish on this GDX as long as it stays below those prints. I'm um, going to watch for a, a rally up though to short it, uh, possibly 1380 level. All right. So going to watch that. Also, banks are hot this morning, right? If we raise rates, they're going to be the ones to make the money, right? So 1775 actually spotted some prints right here on Bank of America. 1775. Here's another one. 1776. Uh, 1783. So I'd like to see it uh, above 1775. And of course, see it's, it's uh, right now approaching 1783. I like to see it break that level to see more upside potential. But TBT, right? This is one of my hottest uh, swing picks for back to fall into Christmas, uh, the master swing class I just did. Um, this past previous, I told you guys I was bullish above this uh, 42 level. And I do have a really high target on this. If you were in the class, it hit my first target yesterday at 45, and you can see it's busting through. We've been spotting tons of selling across the bond market. All right, on AGG, I posted that up the other day on TLT. So yeah, definitely bearish on the bonds. Looks like the rates are gonna be moving higher. So come watch me trade these stocks along with my amazing traders at the Java Pit Trading Room at www thestockwhisper.com. It's only $9.95 for a 30-day trial membership. You got nothing to lose. Happy trading, everybody.